Hello everyone, welcome to my new adventure, doing what I love to do most, is to teach and create art. One of the first things I would like to tell you, and I usually say, it's my first rule, is that there are no mistakes. When you're creating, you're learning, and it's not a mistake to learn something. So, if you remember that each one of us sees things differently, we see color, shapes, the way our eyes process into our mind, which processes into our hands, is different for everyone. And that's really pretty great because that means that each time we do something, it's ours and it's different from anyone else's. Copying things is, is good exercise. It's, it's good to learn that way. But once you find your style and kind of your groove, that's when you know that you're in the right spot. That's, that's your spot. So when we're doing it, um, you know, open your eyes. See what you see. Look around. Shapes, colors, inside the house, outside the house. You want to learn as much as you can. Pull it in. Your brain will store it. And we're going to have a really good time doing that together because I'm going to teach you some tricks. I'm going to teach you, you know, the proper way to use something. If you choose to use it that way, great. If you find your own way of doing it, I think that's even better. I often learn from my students more than I learn from a book. When you actually see someone doing it, and I can't wait to see what you can do. I'm so excited to do this, you have no idea. So as we begin our journey through this art world, there's some important things to know. First, you need a workspace. You need a clean, open workspace that's covered because we're using things that um, can cause a mess. I don't use, uh, sometimes I use things that are permanent, but not very often. So you have a space that you work with, you keep your materials and your tools. Materials are your crayons, your pencils, your markers, your paper. Keep them close by. You'll know what we're going to need each week. I'll give you a, a list of what you're going to need next week. So, you know, be prepared. Um, the great part about filming is you can pause me anytime. Don't you fast forward me. Just kidding. If you have to fast forward me, you always have to go in reverse and watch me again from the beginning. So what I'd like you to do is workspace that's clean, set up, ready to go. And the other flip side of that is when we're all done, it's your responsibility to put everything where it belongs, pack it up and put it away. If someone wants to help you, that's great, but we need to take care of our own stuff. It's our responsibility. It's a good way to grow up to be a really good person. So I'm going to give you a preview or a quick look at some of the things that we're working with. Um, it seems fast. Again, you can watch it over and over again, pause it, Take that crayon or pastel or colored pencil or marker out and try it and then move on to the next one. Um, again, practice, practice, practice. Anything is possible. Know that um, you are going to find times where you're really not happy with what you do and it, it, you didn't do it wrong. It just didn't come out to what your mind's eye, what your mind was hoping for. Sometimes it's good to stop, walk away, come back and try it again. It's kind of like when we tell you to breathe, take a breath. So as we begin this journey, I think that I'm going to remind you, most of us have been using pencils and crayons and markers since we were young. Some of us are young and we're just learning those things. Yet there's so many interesting and useful ways to use these materials. So we're going to become become familiar with them, we're going to practice with them, and we're going to be comfortable with them. And then we're just going to play with them and have fun and create the most beautiful things. Mm -hmm. 